President Biden will announce his long-awaited decision tomorrow. Sources tell NBC News he's expected to slash up to $10,000 in federal student loan debt for borrowers who make less than $125,000 a year. The source also says the president will likely extend the pause on loan payments. They were supposed to resume next month. Mr. Biden, of course, campaigned on canceling student debt. And critics say his expected announcement tomorrow falls short of what he promised then. I'm going to make sure that everybody in this generation gets $10,000 knocked off of their student debt as we try to get out of this god-awful pandemic. Well, not everybody, he said, just making those making a less than 125 grand. Timing is everything. Midterm elections are 11 weeks away, and the president's facing a ton of pressure to deliver something on this issue. But many critics warn canceling student loan debt could make inflation even worse. In a tweet, former President Obama's top economic advisor Larry Summers wrote, student loan debt relief is spending that raises demand and increases inflation. It consumes resources that could be better used helping those who did not, for whatever reason, have the chance to attend college. Here's CNBC's Perry Russum. At DePaul University, a week to go until the first installment of tuition is due, a part of the $40,000 students are expected to pay this school year. Outside the gates, we met Perry Pruitt, an art school graduate turned massage therapist who built $35,000 in loans. When you hear $10,000, what do you think? I mean, that's way too little. I mean, that's chump change. According to federal student aid, more than 45 million people owe a collective $1.7 trillion. Those between the ages of 35 and 49 owe the most. We're definitely keeping our borrowers front and center and our students front and center. New CNBC polling finds 32 percent of people say all student loans should be forgiven. 34 percent say it should be for those in need and 30 percent say no forgiveness. The polling finds there's dividing concern on the possible effects on inflation. 81% of Republicans and 41% of Democrats say loan forgiveness will make inflation worse. If you look at the statistics of, of freshmen who don't finish you know, college, but they take out student debt in order to, to experiment with college, if you start forgiving that first $10,000 for people, that just enhances this, this, these reckless decisions. There's been a push to cancel student debt both outside the White House. Extend the student loan pause payments forever. And by progressives who try to get in. Cancel all student debt. We can cancel student loan debt for 95% of Back in Chicago, 10 years after graduating, Pruitt says she still has $20,000 in loans. I know one of the arguments from the older generation is, look, we had college debt, we paid it off. What do you say to that? I mean, that's garbage. I mean, like, if you're not making a place better for your children, like, nobody should have to suffer because you suffer. A lack of reaction today on Capitol Hill. Both chambers are in recess until Friday, but there is pushback from the NAACP. That group was looking for $50,000 to be forgiven. Today, as President Derek Johnson was talking about that $10,000 number, he says in part, if the rumors are true, we've got a problem. Shep? Perry Russum, live in Chicago.